villages submerged and thousands of homes destroyed as floodwaters inundate 24 Chinese provinces. Emergency teams have been sent to rural areas to help trapped villagers. Many people have died or are missing, and more than 2 million have been evacuated from their homes. In mountainous areas, landslides are an added danger. People are afraid of leaving their house as there is a landslide near the back of the house, which is also flooded. Urban areas have also been battered. In Hefei City in Anhui province, roads became rivers. Dams along waterways connected to the Yangtze River have been blown up to reduce high water levels. The Three Gorges Dam opened its floodgates last week after levels rose above 15 meters. Torrential rain, which has lashed the region since the beginning of June, has seen more than 400 rivers breach flood control limits. 33 have broken record levels. Flooding occurs in the southeast every year, but experts say climate change is making it worse. Our observation study shows that global climate changes have led to extreme weather in some regions, and our country is located in the area that is sensitive to the climate change. People living in Sichuan province have begun cleaning up. With more heavy rain expected this week, soldiers are reinforcing dikes in Hubei province. The deluge has devastated communities still struggling to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Economic losses are estimated at $12 billion. Chinese authorities are desperate to avoid a repeat of 1998, when extreme flooding left more than 4,000 dead and 15 million homeless. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.